Hi, I'm Stefan, the BMW DIY guy, and I want to show you all the differences that sound dampening can make in your car. All right, so let's talk about the project a little bit and what I want to show you through all of this. Now, I'm going to be using my M2C here as, as a great example of what you can do. And you can really do this for a lot of different vehicles. And depending on what it is, there can be a dramatic difference. I mean, obviously, there's a there's a difference between a coupe, a convertible, a sedan, a, wa a van, a wagon, you name it. And you know, especially if you get into some of the Jeeps, if you look at some of those, they are so loud. And I drove a Jeep for a lot of years. So... If you have a good OEM sound system, or if you've invested in an upgrade where you've changed your speakers and your sub, maybe your amp, all those things make a huge difference. But the enemy of all of that much better quality is road noise. So you're gonna get that from your wheels. You're gonna get that on a wet day where it's coming up against the bottom of the car. All of those things are detracting and vibrating through your car and really detracting from the quality of your sound system. You have to continue to turn your speakers up the louder that ambient noise gets. And depending on your amp and other features, then even the sound quality itself can start to distort as, as you turn the volume up and up. So what I wanna do is I wanna show you what the OEM in this car is like, what this kind of stage two, the better stage, because I'm gonna have three stages of what you can do to improve the sound quality in your car. And make sure to check those videos out. I'm gonna have good, better, and best. Now the good is gonna do a better job at focusing your speakers into the cabin, and that's not really gonna reduce road noise very much. So we're gonna, I'm gonna show you the differences of that better and best option when we actually are looking at sound dampening in the car all by itself. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the car out bone stock. I'm gonna show you what that sounds like. I've got an audio meter. We're gonna rate what the high and lows are, and I'm gonna do my absolute best to make the test conditions as, as close as I can every time. We're gonna do the same gear, the same speed on the same section of road to try to make it as even as we possibly can to give you the highs and lows. All right, so with that, let's go out and take it out for a quick spin kind of OEM stock and show you what, what the sound levels are like. All right, guys, so here's our test session of road. And we're gonna use the same stretch every time. I'm on cruise control at 70 miles an hour and it's a dry road day. Radio's off, I'm gonna stop talking. y'all so we're back on the road for our stage two sound test and we want to see what the the differences in the stage two sound matting that i put in has made a difference in the sound floor here in the car now keep in mind we have the oem results that i've already shared but then also i've already done the stage one but stage one is not about reducing that sound floor in the car stage one is about just directly improving and simply improving the sound of the speakers themselves so in stage one you've got the speaker rings and you have the back wave and you have the back wave uh, insulation back behind the speaker so that's not really going to do much to reduce the overall sound or road noise in your car so which is why i don't have a sample set for that stage one because what we really want to see is stage two, which is what we're rolling right now. So we've got the same conditions as we did before, same stretch of road, uh, similar conditions as far as the road is dry and about the same amount of traffic as well, because what I, I want to do the best I can to give you the most representative sample. All right, so radio's off, everything else is off, and we're going to set our cruise control at 70 miles an hour, so it's almost exactly the same. really impressive. I'm already seeing quite a bit of difference. So what I'm looking at is at this point uh, about a about a 73 for the low and I'm seeing high 70s like 78 79 for the top. So we were looking at a little bit over 80 with the OEM. And so this will be that with that stage 2 with the sound skins in the doors. So I'll give you the average but just just I'm already hearing quite a bit of difference and I'm, I'm seeing quite a bit of difference as well. 
All right, y'all, so stage one, two, and now three are done. I'm back up, gonna do the same section of highway. Now, the one thing I can't control is weather conditions. It's been a little bit rainy, it's not raining right now, but we've got wet roads where in the previous we didn't. So, let's hit the same section here right after the bump and see how we're coming up. And we'll take a look at what we're looking at for the differences in sound levels. Here we go. So looking at about, and you can see it varies quite wild, wildly. We had a car go by and throw water at the car, but I really had to shoot the video now because I live in Washington and it's probably gonna be raining for the next three months. <laughs> so getting the chance of getting dry roads again is pretty slim, but I'm definitely seeing a noise reduction. Now also here in the car, just listening to it, the sound floor has changed quite a bit. I mean, I now hear most of my sound through the glass itself. So when cars go by or I listen, it's mostly through the, through the glass. The, the, where before I could hear a lot of the sound coming out of the back seat, I don't hear that anymore. So, and even my own road, even my own tires with these wet roads sound a little bit quieter. So I'll check through my numbers on, on what uh, our sound meter had to say. But you can see it varies you know, quite a bit depending on cars going by. But just looking at it briefly here on the drive can definitely tell that the levels are, are lower. I mean, I was seeing between 70 and 73 as I was first setting up and I was looking at it. Now you can see it vary up into the high 70s as cars go by, but it, all of the stage three sound matting has definitely made a difference. The sound skins, the install wasn't hard and it's really making a difference. All right, y'all, so really, you know, the difference that the SoundSkins product can make in your car is really, really tremendous. Not only in the sound quality of your stereo, but lower, overall lowering that sound floor. And I'm, I'm really impressed, honestly. So when you look at the car going out at OEM, we were looking at about 78-ish decibels, give or take a little bit, um, you know, on a dry road of the same stretch of road that I tested on and, and the occasional cars going by, right? We were looking at about 78 average, and that's not bad. Now, with the stage two in, which again, replacing the door vapor barriers, you know, we dropped to about 74, 75, right in there on the same stretch of road on a dry road. And that's a five decibel drop. Now, from a numeric place, it doesn't sound like a lot, but from a decibel place, that really is a lot. That is a tremendous difference. And I could definitely hear the difference. And my mids in my door sounded so much better. Now, with the, with the stage three in, Really impressed. Now, same stretch of road on a wet road with rain coming down and a lot of traffic, we were looking at about 72, right? Which is about a two decibel drop for that additional amount of sound matting in. But I don't really wanna stress, that's on a wet road. Now, I got really lucky very briefly, found some dry road, the rain stopped, found a dry road, got out and took the car out. And I actually was looking at 70 at 70 decibels. So between going all the way up to the stage three, we we're looking at an eight decibel drop, which is really significant. Again, looking at those averages of 78 at OEM, about 74-ish uh, with the stage two, and now about 70 with the stage three. And the difference is amazing. You literally can hear it with your radio turned off, but I really wanted to share this, the huge surprise, right? So outdone, all testing, turned off my camera, turned off my recorder or off my sound meter and turned on my stereo. <laughs> the difference is huge now keep in mind with this bmw your subs are underneath your seats and we talked about that during the during the install of laying the sound the sound skins pro underneath the subs so now with that entire floor covered in the sound skins pro and especially under the subs as i turned my radio on i had a hip-hop song come on and i about jumped out of my seat <laughs> <laughs> the difference was that dramatic with the sub suddenly super punchy underneath my seats. So that alone is a tremendous and a tremendous difference. Really impressive. So I hope this makes a difference for you as you take a look if you want to do this kind of work yourself. I actually highly recommend it. It's not that hard. It takes a few simple tools, a little bit of time. Make sure to check out my DIY videos on how you could do this yourself. But the overall benefits, is what, which is what I wanted to show here, 
I'm gonna hear every single time I drive this car. So thank you to Soundskins uh, Global for making such a fantastic product. It's really easy to work with, and I'm really excited to have this in my car. And they are fantastic, and what a great company. So thank you so much. Everything you need will be listed in the video below, including links out to my DIY videos. Thank you so much to Soundskins. Uh, they make an amazing product, and they really are fantastic. Really appreciate it. Please click subscribe and the little alarm bell. It makes a huge difference to my channel as I have a ton of content coming and I look forward to seeing you on my next project.